difficult is it now we've said that we need to go to six sigma and all that yeah some uh, we say that we need to be moved to six sigma and all that and if i say that moving from one sigma to two sigma is just one time movement one sigma level movement right i am at one sigma i'm just moving to two sigma just one sigma similarly if i am at five sigma moving to six sigma is just one sigma level up it is easy do you think it's easy is moving from 5 sigma to 6 sigma as easy as moving from 1 sigma to 2 sigma as you go up the tree it becomes more and more difficult picking up these fruits from the apple tree which has already fallen down easy no you can yes. do it very easily pick up these fruits which have already fallen down the ground fruit as it is called is very simple and easy very simple to pick up the fruits which have fallen down so up to three sigma movement is generally very easy from one to two sigma two to three sigma that's why i said many organizations will be up at three sigma three to four it becomes little more difficult because they are still okay because you have these fruits which are at the ground just above your head you can just pluck it so that's where we are so the low hanging fruit as it is called so even if you use something some basic tools like 7qc tools etc which you will learn a green belt project will take care of you reaching up to 4 sigma when you want to move up to 5 sigma generally a very comprehensive 6 sigma project a black belt project needs to be done where you will use all the hypothesis tests etc and try to push your process up to 5 sigma very difficult to reach there very difficult to reach up to 5 sigma companies will still strive it is not easy and therefore you will use all the six sigma logic possible to reach this little bulk of the fruits like here to reach here you definitely need all the dmac uh, you know hypothesis testing everything now how do we reach six sigma level the top of the tree the sweetest fruits are there to reach the top of the tree you have to design your process for success that is called design for six sigma it is not even dmac that is when you're setting up the process itself you must set it up in such a way that errors will not happen after errors have started happening to push it down and bring it down to a six sigma level is very difficult but if you set up your process in such a way that the prevention is taken care of beautifully and no errors will happen or very few errors will happen that is when you will achieve six sigma or 3.4 defects so up to four three sigma it is ground level fruit easy to pick up to four sigma green belt projects uh seven qc tools etc bulk of the fruit is up to five sigma where you do probably do a bulk uh, you know your entire dmac uh, with hypothesis testing etc black bell project a little more difficult but very difficult of course is to reach six sigma you have to do six sigma. you have to do design for six sigma to reach here that's what we do okay now how do we understand what is the number of times of improvement when we move from one to two sigma one to two two to three sigma and all there is a very simple method how do we calculate that we will learn that how do we calculate that sigma levels and the movement to calculate how many times improvement is required to move from one sigma to two sigma you have to just do BPMO of what? One sigma divided by BPMO of two sigma. That is all you have to do, which is equal to how much? We can see here. What is BPMO of one sigma? Six lakh ninety one thousand four ninety two. 6,91,492 divided by 308,538 equal to 
91,492. Am I correct? Yes. Divided by 308538. 2.24. So, two times movement, shall we say? Now, if we have to do DPMO of how many, how many times improvement, all of you calculate and let me know. How many times improvement is required to move from Phi Sigma to Six Sigma? Phi Sigma to Six Sigma. You can look at the table. Uh, which is equal to 233. Equal to 233 divided by 3.68.5 times. Look at that. 1 to 2 sigma is also just 1 sigma level movement. But how many times you had to improve? 2.24, correct? Only 2 times improvement was required. But 5 sigma to 6 sigma, how many times of improvement is required? How many times? 1 to 2 sigma and 5 to 6 sigma will be the same effort. Do you think it is the same effort? Therefore, as you grow up, as you go up, or as the process improves, it becomes more and more difficult to be higher levels of sigma. Okay? Up to 3 sigma, ground fruit. Easy to up to four sigma. What is it? Low hanging fruit. Try to use seven QC tools, etc. Up to five sigma. Detailed black belt. Projects required with process optimization, etc., to reach here. And up to Six Sigma, top fruits, the sweetest fruit. Lot of effort needs to be done to set up the process for success. Process used is design for six sigma. Okay. Here we will not be using DMAC. This is another methodology called DFSS. DMAC is not used here. You design it for success so that errors do not happen. So did you all understand the apple tree story? How we go ahead from one level to another, if you are given a sum, will you be able to calculate how many times of improvement is required? So if you see here, three sigma to six sigma, if you want to improve the process, 19,600 times improvement.